Hey young men, this is mainly for my deacons quorum. This is Brother Huff Baker, and we are in January of 2022, so we're a new year. We have a new quorum, and I just want to tell everyone how to get to a lesson and how to teach a lesson. So I'm just going to jump right into it. This is how I find the lesson um, on, on my device. My device is an iPad. You've got other Android and other devices that you can use. And the computer works great too, but you do have to have access to a computer. And if you don't, let me know. I can get with you. I can print off the materials um, and get them to you um, as you need. Um, also, you can um, ask another leader by besides myself or your parents. This will hopefully help. So here's my iPad, and hopefully you can see um, what's going on here. Can you see this okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Afton's taking the, the video, so I appreciate her doing this. <laughs> so right here I have my iPad. I have my church um, icons in here, and I go to library. And if, I, if you didn't see that, again, that's under library. It's a little symbol with the church's new symbol on it of Jesus, the resurrected Christ. So you select that. It's called library. And then you select bink. And that brings up a bunch of different icons. The main one that we're looking for is the Come Follow Me. And that's the one with this picture of Jesus Christ. Not this one, but the one that says Come, it says come, comma, Follow Me. You select that and it gives you many different options. But the one we're looking for is Young Women and Aaronic Priesthood. It's smack dab in the middle. You have Sunday School, Individual and Families, and you'll be studying those at home. Um, but this one is a little bit different approach and format, so it helps us teach the lessons a little better. So you select on that one and it brings up the dates. So it has doctrine topics all the way back from 2020, 2021, and then our year, doctrinal topics, 2022. That's the one you select. So then it gives you the whole year, January through December, and each time you select one. So for example, if you select January, these are the two we had this month. So it's the second and fourth Sunday. So usually we'll have a leader teach once a month and teach and have a youth teach the second um, part of that month. So whether it's the first or the second, I'll show you how to get how to get there. So I'm going to select on January 23rd, bink, and it pops up the whole lesson. Having uploading problems. There we go. So. Um, and this one is, how can the Lord help me serve more faithfully? So as you can see, there's a little nice little picture at the top. You've got the, the title of the lesson. And then as you come down, it has kind of a generic first paragraph that's pretty standard throughout each one of these. And we'll be talking about these each time. We'll have a quorum theme that we'll recite, and then we'll talk about what service we're going to do and what activities we're going to do. Then we're going to get down to teach the doctrine. This is where your point comes in. Now, if you have an iPad, you can actually, you can see I've underlined a few things here. Um, and those are that just help me uh, remember the points I want to emphasize or things I want to ask. Um, it's a really important part of the lesson that you have. We go into it, you read the lesson completely, and inside the lesson you have scripture. So read the scripture, for example, Moses 6. You want to read the entire chapter 6. It has sections in there that we're going to be emphasizing such as Moses 6, 32 to 39. has little smart links or hyperlinks in there that you can actually click on. It'll pull up a tab on the side and you can read those there if you're on an iPad. I don't know if, what it does with an Android. I'm assuming it does something similar. Um, and then um, it also has a couple other scriptures. As you scroll down, oh, I skipped one. There's also, there's also talks there integrated into these lessons. Those talks are really important and are really great. This one, maybe it was Walk With Me. Oh yeah, it was Walk With Me. And you can see uh, this talk by Henry B. Iron. And I have several paragraphs that are underlined that, uh, and you can outline them with different highlighting. You can see this one's underlined in red. This one is emphasized in gold and then red again. Um, and I think those are the main topics, uh, main sections of his talk that I wanted to emphasize. So you can do that on here, or you can print these off. You can print them off and then highlight them yourself or, or whatnot. It's really important that you go into these, these lessons with 10 questions. Open-ended questions is what we, we, we explain. Open-ended questions are those questions that have more than just a yes-no answer. 
if you, if you sit down and thoughtfully go through questions, then you can, um, then you can instill discussion in the class. Um, so I think that's the biggest. And then as you open up the, the lesson, it gives you an opening. It gives you the meat. You have 10 questions, throw some scripture, um, and then end about five minutes till uh, with your testimony. So if you go into it and, and we have a good discussion and you're like, oh, you know what? We have a video that correlates really well to this lesson. And then you go and play one of these, one of these videos and, uh, oops, I'm gonna pause that one. Then end with your testimony and that's it. That's a lesson. Hopefully that was clear as clearer than mud. Um, was that very clear, Afton? Did you understand it? Yeah. Okay. And if you have any questions, obviously you can call me or one of the counselors, Brother Robinson, Brother Chambers, or your parents are the, probably the best resource you can get. So hopefully that helps and happy new year to everybody. And let's, uh, let's do this.